Lauren, it was a brief appearance for 52-year-old Robert Thibodeau, his lawyer, requesting an adjournment until next month. But it was the first time we've got to see him in court since his arrest earlier this week. Thibodeau was stopped by city police in Plattsburgh on Tuesday after police say they got a call from Thibodeau's brother indicating the suspect was headed to the hospital and was threatening to kill people there. Police say they did find a loaded gun in Thibodeau's car as well as extra ammunition. Thibodeau was arraigned Tuesday on second degree felony charge of criminal possession of a weapon. He went to Clinton County Jail where he will remain until half, unless, excuse me, half million dollars bond is posted. While Thibodeau faces gun charges, police believe his intentions were far more sinister. A big lesson here, be proactive. Police credit Thibodeau's brother for saving the day for everybody by simply being proactive. As stated in court documents, John Thibodeau was talking with his brother on the phone. Realizing things were not right, he drove to Plattsburgh just in time to witness his brother leaving with weapons and called the police right away. A call that may have saved many lives, including his brother's. Ultimately, he's the, he's the real hero in this, right? Um, taking that, um, that step to realize the, what could have been, um, where this was going, um, and that he needed some more help in, in uh, getting his brother some help, um, doing the right thing before this got to the point where people got injured um, and uh, made contact with us to, to put a stop to it. This happened not only near the hospital, but right near SUNY Plattsburgh as well. I talked to the university's police chief who emphasized the importance of see something, say something. There are only so many police officers and we can only be so proactive. We aren't everywhere all the time. We rely on the public to be active participants in helping us keep them safe by reporting to us when they see something, end quote. His next court date is scheduled for March 21st. I will be following this story on air and online and keep you updated with any updates as they come available. In Plattsburgh, Matt Lawfer, ABC 22 News.